Wow, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Welcome back to my channel for a whole new video. Today I am just smiling side to side uh, as I'm about to share with you um, the details of this amazing uh, Disney Pixar Luca Deluxe figurine set I recently got from my nearest uh, Disney store and I couldn't be happier with it. And I will unbox it and I will go figure by figure. And um, I I also like watched this film like just about two days ago as it was much recommended by my friend Tiago from Portugal and I couldn't be more thankful for that because I loved it. So thank you so much Tiago. Uh, I'm so lucky I made time to actually watch this movie and that is why I also got this uh, deluxe figurine set because I loved it so much and before I continue I just wanted to say well happy pride month to everyone I also got this incredibly adorable Disney key um, from the rainbow collection which is like a very vibrant collection uh that is just super adorable and and that it's attached to like the connotations uh will include diversity and love and i so much love that so i'm very happy that i got this one i recently shared with you that i also got the ultimate princess collection one um so it's basically the same mold same size uh but just different um layout and here we can read the word love just above the um castle lock and in the middle we have like a like an old school kind of animation of mickey mouse um which is super cool it's taking me um back to my childhood um, as I remember, there were like uh, so many clips and things of how animation was done and this reminds me so much of that and it is just the same both sides and I will place it along with the other key in a very special place like maybe like I'm actually planning to display this on a wall. Um, so anyway, we will move to the uh, Disney Pixar Luca Deluxe figurine set. This is the way they come presented in this really nice case, uh, which serves as a displaying case as well. And actually, I think I will just cut it through um, um, uh, along this edge and then I will be able to keep it as such because sometimes it's kind of very hard to display these figurines especially if you have so many and I have so many actually which I've never shared with you but I'm planning to uh, make a video for every single uh, Disney movie and I I think I have the figurine set for 95% of the movies I would say uh, so if you like this kind of um, collectible, stay tuned for that. Uh, I am so nicely surprised how they've uh, achieved these ones. And, you know, uh, having been a Disney collector, um, you know, sometimes collecting very high-end uh, collectibles, such as the Walt Disney Classics collection figurines that were uh, sculpted in porcelain and hand-painted and that are just incredibly amazing uh, from the 90s. Um, I have quite a few pieces and I have like the Enchanted Places whole collection uh, with the castles because castles are just my thing. Uh, you might have noticed that if you've checked my profile, uh, but I could directly compare uh to those figures uh these new uh figurine sets released by disney because the paint job is just amazing and this cold is breathtaking seriously for the price i think this is super cool i mean compared to all the things that you might be able to find for the same price at the disney store these are really nicely priced compared to again all the things i think these were like 35.99 euros it must be like around 40 us dollars and about 30 great britain great britain pounds i think um but again for nine figurines and this like really nice uh paint job and everything they really feel like taken out uh of the movie and 
in that way they remind me so much of the Walt Disney Classic Collection uh, figurines uh, because I was a little bit disappointed um, just uh, you know a quick reference um, with the quality of collectibles uh, that recently have been released by Disney such as you know the castles and other things uh, that compared to the Disney collectibles uh, from the 90s they were slightly poorer and very expensive, but these figurine sets are really cool. So this is the way they come. Um, the box has nothing like very special to it. Here we have like the calligraphy of Luca. Uh, this movie just very qu quickly, I have to say that it's a very adorable movie with um, um, a, a few... Uh, very straightforward messages as well as like metaphors uh, that are very refreshing and it makes you travel to actually this dreamy coastline um, of like um, northern Italy, uh, like close to Geneva, like Portofino. Obviously they, they used like a place that does not exist, I think, that is uh, Porto Rosso. Uh, and but again, it has so many like things that relate to Portofino and other areas in in northern Italy, and and it really feels like a summer breeze. Uh, that's how it felt to me. It's a very simple, very aesthetic. Um, again, with 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 a nice plot as well, but but it isn't as like heavy as other Pixar ones and so it's very lightweight in that sense and so it feels like a treat it really feels like a treat it feels like a I don't know like an Italian uh, short uh, vacation really just to sit back and enjoy and relax and go through all the emotions uh, that Luca the main character and Alberto and Giulietta are going through um, so I will take the glare um, out of the side so we can have a closer look at each individual figurine. So I just did what I said. I just took out very carefully uh, this part, which again, it can be placed again uh, if you don't have like any shelves or like a curio cabinet or a glass cabinet or metacrylate kind of boxes. Um, the display boxes are, are already very cool. Um, the one that's provided and this can also be taken out. And I will do it for the purpose of just showing all the details. Um, and then I will take every single... But this is very nicely presented again because um, sometimes they can just take a lot of space and such. Um, as you can see, I mean seriously, these really feel like very high-end figurines. And again, for the price, I think they're really cute. And um, um, such an amazing job. Um, they are really nicely painted. I am so incredibly nicely surprised. Um, so I will take them off the base um, just so I can go 360 degrees for every single one. Um, and so let's get into it. So I have already taken them out of the box and they are free to be uh, reviewed and i will give you close-ups like really i'm incredibly amazed by these um figurines um there are nine in total as i previously said i'm just missing one which was like quite possibly my favorite because it was like the cute the cutest ever character I, and is uh lucas um grandmother and i would have loved to have uh you know just um having her as a figurine because she's just so adorable in the movie uh but i think that is a very complete set um so i'm just going to just give you a close up of the whole set first and now I will start with the human form, uh, well, the human version of um, Luca. Um, 
here we have him and as you can see like the this coat and the paint job is just remarkable it is super nicely done um all around it he's like one of the cutest as well characters like his innocence and um just makes him very very adorable um and we can all relate to that uh at a certain degree so um here we have him with the books um um he actually loves um knowledge and learning and i'm so happy that they've um created this figurine with him um with the books um and these figures are in motion as well so that is why they really i mean being so much uh cheaper they really uh give me a very similar to very similar feeling to the Walt Disney Classics collection because they're really nicely executed so this is uh, Luca in in the human form and now we're going to see Luca oops they actually uh stand really nicely but this one <laughs> It's a little bit tricky. <laughs> we'll just place it like that. Here we have Luca as a sea monster. I mean, isn't he like the cutest figurine? The details are amazing. The scales, the fins, everything. And the water. I mean, these figures are quite heavy because they're, they are in hollow. They're like solid plastic, um, hard plastic for the figurine. And for the water, uh, it's like more flexible. And um, I think it's very clever the way they've put it together so they can stand. And he's super duper cute. And the details are just amazing, really. It's a very, very cute one. So... If we put it side to side, we'll have both versions of Luca. And we will move to Alberto, which is uh, Luca's friend. Um, and again, he's incredibly nicely painted and incredibly nicely sculpted. I love it. And, and then it's in motion too. Um, so it really feels like taking out of the Pixar movie. Um, and this is the human uh, version of him. Um, and now I am going to make a close up for the sea monster version. Again, incredibly cute, incredibly nicely painted. So in motion. Uh, so really um nicely executed no details have been left behind for these figurines and i just couldn't be happier again like that's why i because i saw the stock photos and the stock photos do not make justice to the actual um set um, that is why I, I couldn't wait to share it with all of you again if you're into these figurines i will be sharing every single set i have from um any any other movie released by disney probably i don't have like again 100 percent, but i would say 95 or 90 percent at least um some of them are very old um but really cute and i think they're getting better just by looking at this set they're getting better with time at least with these figurines like i still have like a few complaints for other collectibles but uh, the figurines are really, really nicely executed. Um, so this is Alberto in the sea monster um, shape. And here we have the human Alberto. Um, and then here we have uh, Julia or Julieta. Uh, and she's just so adorable. I, I loved her in the movie as well. And... Um, she has a lot of charisma and she's holding a basket with fish and there's also a bucket with fish here again everything is so incredibly nicely painted and the texture of this coat 
you know, like the everything. There is a lot of detail to it that just make it um, such a quality uh, collectible. So this is Giulietta, and here we have Ercole Visconti, which is the antagonist uh, of um, this film, and obviously he's um, just uh, posing with his Vespa uh, motorbike uh, that is so nicely sculpted as well. Uh, the sculpt is super cool, you know, like the tiny... Um, streaks for the moustache <laughs> I don't know um, everything the plaque everything everything is so cool and um, it's so nice to have him as um, a villain sort of um, in the form of a figurine and then here we have I think it's called Massimo uh, and this is uh, Giulietta's father and obviously something that we couldn't uh, miss is uh, the cat and this cat is absolutely adorable as well uh, he's Machiavelli um, and again everything is very nicely painted oh well there we see a little bit of paint out of its place but this is like kind of very rare for the set it's the first time we've encountered that um again he's such a big uh um character <laughs> and it's kind of funny that he's also called uh massimo um and then machiavelli is just super adorable and he's just sitting on his uh, on his shoulder and here we have um, I think she was called Daniela I can't remember the name of the father right now these are Luca's parents we will start with her again they're super incredibly nicely sculpted and painted with even more detail um, than Luca and Alberto because they're grown-ups um, Super cool. Again, like I, I would just give anything to have the grandmother. She was just so cute. I really wanted to hug her. <laughs> um, so this is the mother. We have like that kind of iridescent uh, finish to it, similar to uh, the, the um, Raya and the Last Dragon. The shimmer used for the dragon. Um, and then we have the pattern on the fins. Um, super cool. Super cool. Seriously. And here we have the father. This is Luca's father. And he's super adorable. In their human form, they're also like really nice. And it's like the most hilarious moments uh, within the film are... Um, when they appear in their human form as well and he's green and he's got lots of details as well this is very heavy like again really nice collectible really nice figurine so i hope you like uh this video and appreciating all the different uh, figurines from this deluxe set um, from uh, L Disney Pixar uh, Luca. I very much like the film and I would recommend it to anyone and, um, and everyone, <laughs> every single one uh, that are into um, these really loving stories from Pixar and this is an easy one so uh, again uh, just sit back and relax kind of break so um, it would be very easy to fit into everybody's uh, schedule um, so I hope you've liked it and you can give me a like and stay tuned for more because I will be sharing many more figurine sets uh, from Disney in the near future. So I hope you stay safe and take care and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.